Hey everybody, welcome to this video. We are talking today about the strongest sex organ you have. Stay tuned and I'll let you know which one it is. All right, we're talking about the strongest sex organ and that's nothing but your mind. You may think my penis is the strongest sex organ. You might think uh, my stamina is the strongest sex part I have. Well, it's not true. Your mind is your strongest sex organ and you need to know this. And I know maybe you may think, ah, this is a bit boring. This is not for me. Guys, if you understand your mind and especially if you understand the female's mind when it comes to sex, that's when everything starts to come in uh, together. That's when you understand how sex can last long, can last for uh, longer relationships and can be much, much better. Uh, she's going to have much better orgasms if, she, if you understand what she needs. The female mind is much more developed than men uh, in terms of sex, and that's my opinion. But uh, the females are much more sophisticated in terms of uh, the way they work uh, towards sex and how they get excited in sex. Uh, we are men as men, we're a bit more basic, let's say. Uh, but uh, this video is a masterclass I did for a course and um, I want to share with you this for free. I, wanna, I want you to see it, to know it. Uh, watch the video until the end. It's a bit long, but it's fantastic. It's in a presentation format. So I'll go through every, every point and how you should uh, focus your mind to have better sex. So I'll leave you with the presentation now and I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, welcome to masterclass number three. I'm really excited because today we're going to talk about something that I really think is the most important thing for your sex life and for having great sex. And that is, we're going to talk about the mind. And uh, you may think that this uh, video is not that important or maybe you think it's boring because we're not talking about techniques. We're talking about techniques, but in a different way. Because uh, I truly believe, and I really, you, I think you should really understand this, the strongest sex organ men and women have is the mind. Our mind is what makes us have great sex. And uh, I'm, I'm going to do this video, I'm going to just make a short introduction here, and I'm going to do it also in the presentation format because I want to show you some diagrams and some, some, some pictures. And uh, I think it's best also for you. You can take some notes as well. And um, I, I want to cover everything well. I want to tell you what you can do, not only for yourself, but also that your woman actually wants to have sex and has great sex with you all the time. Because when we connect mind, body and soul, is when we actually can have the best sex of our lives. And this is, I truly believe this. You know, a woman, a woman and men are totally different in terms of uh, many things, but uh, also in terms of sex. The way a woman gets aroused or a man gets aroused is completely different. Actually, I'm gonna show you a, a theory uh, of how men are aroused and uh, what Dr. Basson, a psychiatrist from British Columbia, says about how women are aroused and how women want to have sex once again and again because uh, maybe you know i don't know if you're in a, in a in, as a couple now or if you have a long-term relationship or you're just starting one of course there's different stages uh, when a relationship starts uh, at the beginning in the honeymoon state everything is great and we don't really need to think about these things very much we want to have sex all the time but when the, the relation develops and goes longer in time uh, most of you probably have already um, experienced it. Uh, sex goes down and we have less sex. And, you know, we really don't know how to actually manage this situation sometimes. And it could break a couple. This, this can happen. So it's very important that we understand how the mind works in terms of sex and how we can do in order to have good sex for a long period. And uh, that's uh, very, very important. As I said, women and men are different in terms of that. Uh, we, 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 men, we're a lot more visual, uh, woman, for woman, emotion, love is very important. 
they need to have an emotional reward in order to want sex again. They, 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 they have sex uh, for intimacy. They, it's, a, it's a way of a woman showing that she wants to be intimate with you. She wants to uh, have intimacy with you. And, uh, and, and when that happens, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a circle. If, if she gets that emotional reward, she will want to have sex over and over. Men, well, we're different. We are more visual, we're more lineal, and uh, we want uh, sex and we want it and we do it and then we're satisfied. And then we, it starts again. So it's a bit different. I'm going to show it to you on a, on a graph, which is a lot easier to explain and, and, and uh, you'll get a, a good idea of what I'm saying here. And we're going to talk about what things we can do in order to get our woman aroused, how we can keep it alive, uh, things, exercises um, uh, of touch, feel, uh, love, uh, because I believe, I'm not against pornography, but I think it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's something for entertainment, okay? It's okay for one day to, you know, be a bit, uh, uh, do a little game and maybe watch and get aroused, and that's okay, it's fine. I mean, I, I, I don't have anything against it, but it doesn't teach us the way sex is, really, and how we can make it long, uh, uh, last long in time. So it's not the, it's not the best uh, school for that. So it's very important that we understand that we need to get more touch, we need to get more feel in order uh, to have sex for a long time with our couple. So um, just going to jump into the, into the presentation now. And I'll see you in a little bit. All right, let's start uh, with the presentation about mind and sex. This is a very important presentation. As I said before, um, men and women's most important and strongest sexual organ is the mind. And uh, have this in mind, guys, because this is very, very true. The mind is what triggers us. The mind makes us want to have sex and more sex and want, and helps us enjoy the moment of sex and uh, if the mind is not there there's no sex or no good sex at least okay very important to understand this a woman will have the most amazing and intense orgasms of her life when she's able to connect her mind her body and her soul and this is a, this is so true if you want to have long-term relationships with great sex and with uh, your woman wanting to have sex very regular you need to connect these three because for woman sex is not only a physical thing it's a very emotional um, thing to do and uh, they are very emotionally attached to sex as well you know sex is a way of showing emotion for them and receiving emotion so have this in mind because if you if you you are able to connect these three is when things work. If not, I'm not saying that girls cannot have sex just for sex for for physical for to have an orgasm. Of course, girls can do, and every woman is different. We we know that. But if you want to go for a long term relationship, this doesn't work. A girl can have sex one day and have an orgasm, but if she's not emotionally attached, she will not keep doing it with you at least. Maybe with another guy, but not with you. That's how it works. So there's a few things you need to know. You need to understand that men and women are different in terms of sexuality. And even more after the honeymoon state. You know, we all have been in relationships and we start the relationship. We, we meet this girl or we meet this guy and everything is incredible. You know, there's there's you know fireworks and we want sex all the time and we, we're touching, kissing all the time. It's it, it, almost silly the way we react and the way we act. And uh, yeah, this is the honeymoon state. And the honeymoon state lasts maybe six months, one year, depends on the couple, depends on their passion, depends on many things, but it starts to fade away. And this is a fact. And it really starts to fade away more in a woman than in a man, in most cases, because men's sexuality is much more physical uh, and a woman's sexuality is much more emotional. So once this crazy start go, fades away and all, you know, we know there's no surprise factor, there's no uh, new factor, uh, then things start to fade away. And we need to almost work on having sex. And what I mean by work, I don't mean like make an effort. I'm saying like we need to think about how we are going to manage our sexual life because 
it will fade away and and we might start thinking why and why is she not wanting to have sex etc etc so male sexuality works like this it works on a lineal model and this was uh, established by dr kaplan in 1979 and it says it's very basic, and I know girls might laugh at this, but this is, you know, they say always oh, the men are very basic, but yeah, we have a sexual desire, we get excited, and we have an orgasm, and we solve, and we resolve this problem, or this issue, not the problem, it's an issue. You know, we, we get excited, we have an erection, for whatever reason, and something we see, something we feel, whatever. We get excited, and we have the orgasm. And then everything is resolved. We're f finished. We, we are satisfied with what happened. And this is the way male sexuality works. And there's a, as a, fa there's a fact that you know, men have a physical need for sex because it's almost impossible for a man to go one month without having sex unless he has any, you know, maybe any, any health issues or whatever. If he's healthy, you know, it's just a physical need. We need to release... Uh, our sperm we need to release our sexual energy and this is a, a physical need it's not not an emotional need in this and that's why men we are so different in terms we're more physical more visual in terms of sex so according to this model a man only requires to have physical sexual desire to have sex and is satisfied after orgasm as i said so why do women desire sex less often after the honeymoon state what makes men different to women? What drives women's sexual desire? How can you get your woman to desire sex often after the honeymoon state? These are questions that we all have. These are questions that we all think about. Even women think about this. Why? You know, I was all horny all the time, wanting to have sex with him, and now I don't have that. But I love him, and I want to have sex with him. But not as much, and I don't feel uh, the same thing when it comes to, to have sex. So, why does this happen? According to Dr. Rosemary Basson, she's a professor at the University of British Columbia, she says that woman's sexual desire works in a circular nonlinear model. And this is the nonlinear model. And this is quite uh, easy to explain and to understand. But something you need to know if any of this doesn't work or is not there, Sex, you know, you, of course you can have sex every now and then, but it will not work in the long term. She will not want to come back. And this is what we want. We want her to want sex and not um, say no to sex or try to avoid sex. Because if any of this is not there, she's going to avoid it. She's going to say, hey, ooh, I have a headache, I don't want it or whatever. So... It all starts, I am assuming here you're as a couple because, you know, I'm, I'm talking about couples here more than uh, sporadic sex or like, or like have sex, uh, one night stands and things like that. That's a different issue, okay? Here we're talking about sex as a couple. So if you're a couple, uh, a woman don't have spontaneous desire to have sex like men do men we see something we get uh, the desire we get erect and then we want to have sex woman works a bit different woman may woman don't have erections woman uh yeah of course they might be stimulated at some point by something but it happens very less often uh, women need to be triggered okay and this is what this means sexual stimulation in the correct context if we are in the correct moment in the correct context the right time what I'm trying to say here, she's going to be open to sexual uh, stimulation. So if we do this in the correct time, she's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna trigger her, uh, this, her desire to, to, her desire for sex. It's gonna be triggered if we do. We stimulate her in the right way, in the right moment, kissing, touching. She's automatically she's gonna get into that mood. Okay. And that will drive to sexual desire and excitement. So she's sitting in the couch and we are sitting together and suddenly, you know, we, you know I want to have sex tonight and whatever. And you start kissing her and doing something. She might not be horny at that time. I mean, maybe we are very horny as men, but she's not horny at all. But if you start it correctly at the right time, she's going to, she's going to, it's going to trigger her desire. It's going to trigger her will. It's going to trigger her, her inner 
sexuality and suddenly she's going to be open for it and she doesn't have to be horny as i said it will happen we start to we start to um, uh, stimulate uh, subjective sexual excitement means that inside her mind she's going to open up basically and that will drive to sexual desire and excitement she's going to get horny basically sorry about that and um, what happens is that she will have sex with you but and she will have sex and even it has to be pleasurable it doesn't have to go to an orgasm it has to be an emotional a physical satisfaction with or without orgasm it doesn't have to have an orgasm for her to be satisfactory it's it's a it's a matter that she feels uh, emotionally and physically well with you what's going to do that that's going to it's going to trigger her emotional intimacy that's going to make her feel protected she's going to make her feel desired it makes her feel loved makes her feel emotionally satisfied and when she gets that from out of a sexual encounter she gets all these emotions and she feels safe and good what happens is that she will be willing to do that again that's why it's circular it goes like this that's why i'm talking about the emotion girls for them sex i mean even though if even if they don't have an orgasm they will want to have sex again because they feel intimate with you they feel that they're they are um, uh, close to you they love you they feel loved desired and protected and that's how it works if they feel like that she will want to have sex over and over and over if you if she doesn't feel like that it will cut here it will cut well actually here it will cut and and this will not happen again because for her sex will become something that has no satisfaction has no reward for woman sex has to have a, an emotional reward just to sum it up okay men want to uh, men, men want sex to resolve a sexual need or desire woman wants sex when there is an emotional reward and this is the big difference between men and women in terms of sex. This is very important. You, you need to understand this. If you want to have a good sexual relationship, you need to understand that. So some tips to help her manage her mind to have amazing orgasms. You need to guide her to be present and stop the chatter in her mind. Now, this is, this is a classic. You know, it, it's incredible because this happens. A woman, okay um starts to have sex or you start the, the the you know the the foreplay and whatever and now she's thinking about what she has to buy tomorrow the kids i have to go to school i have to manage this i have to buy this i have to if this is in her mind there's no way she will have an orgasm it's impossible it's impossible this is why i say the mind is our strongest sexual organ by far if, if her mind is not present you need to guide her to the present you need to bring her at the moment of time where you are stimulating and she needs to feel what's happening if not orgasm will not happen believe me it will not happen for women men it's a bit different men we are as i said we're we maybe we can have an orgasm maybe thinking about things but women they need to be present so you need to stop the chatter in her mind very important have no expectations it's very also very important if, if you put a lot of expectations if you feel like you have to be the best lover in the world and you give, need to give her the best orgasms in the world and she feels that you are gonna you tell her i'm gonna give you the best orgasm it's not gonna work don't no have any expectations just enjoy the ride okay concentrate on feel and touch if you concentrate on feel and touch you'll be you'll take her in the present and you also will be in the present when you start concentrating on just what you're feeling and watching and, and kissing and and just enjoy your body basically that's what i'm trying to say with this so just enjoy the ride just let things flow and just do whatever your body tells you to do this is very simple and this will take you to the present this will make you enjoy what you're doing Remember that every woman is different. This is very important as well, because maybe what works with one woman doesn't work with the other. So you need to know a lot of things. I'm going to talk about communication here in a bit. So you need to know what she wants, what she likes, and you need to know that if you want to satisfy her, because 
Uh, you may have had a partner before that liked whatever or did whatever and now this girl doesn't like it or likes different things. So need to have that in mind. So what are the main issues that block a woman's mind in sex? Okay, first one is physical insecurities. This is by far, by, by far, one of the biggest blocks in, in, in a woman's mind. If she doesn't feel sexy and if she doesn't feel secure about her body, everything is going to be in her. She's going to be thinking about it all the time. When she gets naked in front of you, she's going to be thinking, Ooh, my butt is too big, my tits are too small, my lips are not nice. Uh, I have, um, I have my, my, well, my tummy is, doesn't look good. I'm fat, I'm skinny. I'm... These things go in her mind. Actually, even more. They think if you're maybe doing oral sex, they'll be thinking, Ooh, it, it maybe it doesn't smell good, it maybe it doesn't taste good. These things go into their mind. Honestly, believe me. If you're a woman listening to this, you probably agree with me. These things happen to women. To men cook as well, but, but women all the time. So this is the biggest block. So you need to make sure that she feels desired by you. And this doesn't mean that she has to be a model. I've, I've, I've had girlfriends who, who were not models and who were not perfectly, uh, the body was not like what it's supposed to be, like to our today's uh, uh, measurements and today's uh, type of uh, beauty. But I was attracted to that girl because it's not just a perfect butt what attracts a man and or a woman. No, there's more to it. So she needs to be, she needs to feel attractive. Uh, attractive. She needs to feel that you want her, that you desire her. This is very important if you want to take that block away. And she needs to, you cannot only say, it, you have to demonstrate it. You need to demonstrate that you love to touch her and be with her. Okay. Second one, social prejudice and judgment. Some people uh, you know, they, are, they, they, they think that maybe if they like sex or they talk about sex or they're open about sex, that people are going to judge them and they're going to say, wow, she's a, she's a wild one. She's not a, 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 girl, a good girl to be married. Things like this make them block. I mean, sometimes girls don't let themselves go because they think, what, they're, what they're, are people going to think about me? What are not only the men who I am with, but also other people who might know about our, my sexual life so there's that's that's a big issue and and you need to break that as well you need to tell her that she needs to enjoy herself and and and, and do whatever she likes to do without any blocks and without any any prejudices religious beliefs okay this is similar to the other one again uh, there's a lot of uh, religion has always um put sex as a, as a bad thing, as a, as a dirty thing, as something, we, as a sin. And that, that is very much installed in our Western societies, throughout the Catholic Church, throughout the, the, the Christian um, uh, communities. And, uh, and, you know, we need to break with that. And we need to understand that everyone is, needs to decide what they want from their sex life. And, uh, and and try to break with all those things if that's if that's cutting you from enjoying sex and enjoying orgasms, very important. Um, key aspects to avoid mental blocks as well. You need to have great communication. I said that before, and and when I was saying every woman is different, so you need to communicate very well. You need to know what your woman likes and she needs to know what you like and and that way everything is going to work a lot better if if you guys don't talk and you assume things things will not work so you need to know and you need to speak and even the, if it hurts at one point even if you saying the truth may at one point say hey you're being too harsh on me or you're you know i don't like what you're saying just say the truth what you feel what you like etc very important physical reassurance again what what um, what I was saying before? They they need to be a, a woman needs that you that you reinforce that she's physically attractive to you. She must feel sexy and desired. Remember that she wants to feel loved. Uh, basically, it, you can sum it up like that: a woman wants to feel loved, and that is transmitted through sexuality. She will demonstrate you that she loves you through sex. That's very simple. It's 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 so you, you have it there. It's very important that 
you know, to understand that she wants to be loved. If you don't do it in a way where she wants to be loved, or, well, and that she doesn't feel loved, it's, it's, it's not going to work. Make it fun. Play games. Again, this has a little bit to do with, uh, with uh, um, the no expectations, that it's just here below. At the end, if you make it as a game, if you have fun while you do it and you don't put uh, it like a job or like a, I have to be the best lover in the world and I'm going to be, then things happen. If, if you let it go and if you just enjoy the ride and, 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 uh, and just flow, things will happen. It's very important. That's one of the keys to get the mind out of the way because at the end we just want to get the mind, the mind blocks basically, out of the way. Mind has to be away. We need to feel. We need to get the mind out. Okay. So just to finish this up, uh, I don't want to make this too long. It's probably already quite long, but um, good sex will keep you smiling and happy. Just have that in mind. If you have good sex, your life is going to be much better uh, because uh, it will give you a lot of endorphins and you will be smiling all the time and you will be a lot happier. Believe me. So... Enjoy sex, enjoy life. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you liked it and you get a lot of information, a lot of uh, good things out of it. Um, now put them into practice. Understand that your mind is your strongest sex organ and it, it's the one that's going to take you long. It's going to make you uh, have longer sexual relationships. If you love someone, it's the only way it will work. If not, you, know, it, it will, you will start to have less sex. If you're married, maybe you know about it. You have less sex every time and that can lead to a bad situation if, uh, if you're a couple. So make sure you understand this. Make sure you put it into practice. If you like this video, two thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. We are almost 25,000. Just help me get there uh, and uh, make some comments down below this video. Right here you'll see a link to an incredible sex course where you can learn more about female sexuality and about the mind in sex. Also, I'll leave some links down there to other courses which can help you uh, do it as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.